What we're trying to do is focus on the body and getting your, your body to get that bigger shoulder rotation going back. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I'm in the backyard studio of John Erickson. Hey John. Hey. Good to see you. Good to see you again. All right, so we're gonna do a lesson for me now. So I sent you through video, through your advanced ball striking site, I was sending you some swings. Mm -hmm. And the people who watch this, they, they know my swing. The number one thing I hear a lot from teachers is that um, through impact, it's like handsy and active and a little broken. Mm -hmm. uh, ball flight wise, whenever I get to hitting it really solid and good, it's straight or a little pulled with a draw. So I end up hitting an overdraw or hit it like even when I'm hitting it really good, it'll start to then start creeping left, left, left. Mm -hmm. And then and then sometimes I'm hitting it really good and I'll start to shank it. How would you approach it? OK, this? so what, what I saw with your swing is uh, you're uh, fairly upright. What I teach would be more along the line of a, a say where Ben Hogan would have the left arm on the shoulder line. Yeah. OK, not not above, because if I rotate level, then that arm is going to tend to come a little bit full over the top. Mm -hmm. Now, if I keep that on the shoulder line, then I can I can go ahead and turn more, more level and not as likely to get over the top of the shot. So I noticed that with you, uh, a big acceleration down. That I'm a little up here. Yeah. And then rotation kind so of I would, yeah. my suggestion that would help you would be to flatten out your swing okay. a little bit. So I would like to see you at least try that. Now, you know, whether you want to, change your gear or not that's up to you it would be beneficial i think if, if you because if you could flatten out your irons a little bit mm -hmm. you know maybe not go six but i don't know what are you at or standard I don't, I don't know i hit a lot of balls so they might be up from what i've started at but i think i was at one flat or something yeah but i mean maybe a couple degrees mm -hmm. would help uh you there <clears throat> so uh flattening get, getting that left left arm on the shoulder line and you're you, you're very strong so you're very quick from the top yeah uh, a little over acceleration I, I think you're having trouble holding shaft flex yes. okay and then when you say that that left wrist is getting a little bit th this passive pa uh, cupped here like uh, we can change that by what we want to do is delay the acceleration of your of your torso to later in the swing so we want to come down so a, a good way to do that would be to widen your stance a little bit and and use more of the lateral motion i think the kind of the, the who's the guy that's stepping back and forth i think that was good yeah, Andrew yeah. and dr Kwan, yeah. yeah yeah so so the um ha having more of a lateral motion means that you can start your downswing with more of a lateral move like you can get the club moving towards the ball with a lateral move without spending the rotation you save it for later yeah okay where you're going a little bit high and coming down um early with the with the you're opening up pretty soon and then when you get past impact you've got all this speed coming down here but you can't make, keep it up yeah so the club flips and so there's a tendency for you to get a little across the line a little bit pulled a little over accelerated and the ball flight would reflect yeah. those those things yeah, we'll so to change that we could widen your stance flatten your swing work the shaft uh, use a lateral move and work the shaft more down on the 430 line. Yeah. Okay. And then we're gonna we're gonna pick up through the drills. We're gonna pick up your rotational speed through the strike, and then you're gonna feel a little bit more of a hold off release going through. So you're gonna kind of come from the inside. We might even move your ball position back slightly. Okay. And and then you're gonna have a little bit more of a hold off release, which is gonna then keep the club face. It's gonna be open. We're gonna hit the ball, and then that club face is gonna stay looking at the target a lot longer before it then moves over. So with you, you like to be like open, and then we're like shutting the door, but but only getting it to there and not letting it go any further. Yeah, never Yeah, never feel like, like, like you're ever releasing it. So, so set up again here, just like you're doing. Mm -hmm. So what we wanna do is maybe flatten you out a little bit. So widen the stance, which you've done, mm -hmm. flatten out, you're going to come down a little bit more to the inside, mm -hmm. okay? And then you're going to use a, you're going to rotate this shoulder level like this, okay? Rather than steep like mm -hmm. this, because this is more powerful. If this shoulder moves level, it's moving farther from the golf ball, quicker, okay? Yeah. And because your arm is connected to the club, when this shoulder goes this way, you actually get more power that way also. 
but that power is coming later in the swing. Yeah. Okay. Not early. It's not coming here. We're going to, we're going to move you this way and then we're going to apply that level strike through the ball. It might make sense. It'll probably make sense later, but if I'm going level, how am I not swinging like three inches above the ball then? You know what I'm saying? How is the, the club head coming down? Because your wrist is going to uncock, I see, I see. right? Okay. Right. So if you, if your wrist doesn't, doesn't uncock, if you come down and, and you keep the wrist cocked, then it's going to be above the ball. But you're going you're gonna to rotate and uncock the wrist that's going to come down to the ball. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find out what, where you're looking. Okay? okay. Now, what I want you to do is set up uh, as if, let's just say, here, take this club sure. and I'm going to just randomly throw this. I want you to stay over here. Yep. Okay. And I'm going to just... Now I want you to set up as if the ball's right here. Come over here. Yeah. Set up as if the ball's right here. Yeah. Okay. Now I want you, uh, Michael, come back here. Now I want you to look and tell me where this is pointed. Okay. You see that super bright green thing there on the top of the hill? Yeah. Is that like a lawn, like a fake lawn? Yeah, I think so. I think it's pointed if that on that line about six yards left of that six seven yards left of that yeah so that would be yeah right about there right about a little to the right right about here mm -hmm. okay all right now i want you to come back and look and see where that is oh uh, okay yeah it's quite a bit right yeah it's like 30 yards right of it 30 yards right of that yeah. so in other words let me give this clip if i if i set up on at this on this line uh -huh. And this is the line where it's going. You're looking to the left. Yeah. Now I could be looking to the right. Like somebody else might say, well, it's at that big palm tree. Yeah. And then somebody else says it's over here. When I had Anthony do it, he was like, oh, it's a, it's at that, uh, that red truck over there. So for me to hit it straight, do I have to feel like I'm hitting it 20 yards, right? No, what I'm saying is what I'm going to say is that this whole idea of there is a, is a line from the ball to the target oh, okay. that we must line ourselves up to mm -hmm. and then make some on-plane perfect swing to hit good golf shots is just not an optimal way to do it. Okay, gotcha. We're better to just get rid of this idea. And now, if I have a golf ball here, I can then set up and say, all right, where am I lined up? I don't know. Because I could hit this golf ball, I could loop it to the inside, and I could hit it over there. Or I could rotate hard and level and hit it over there. In other words, I, don't, I never want to come over the top. But I would say a straight swing coming through is going to give me a straight shot. But my, my vector of possibilities is going to be as far right as I can hit it from this okay. ball position mm -hmm. to square. So in other words, yeah, me setting, like, me, um, pie yes, shape, yeah. a pie. Okay. So my alignment is, is the pie. Mm -hmm. So when I talked about hitting that first shot of the day, yeah. I loosen up and I hit a shot. I'm just trying to hit it solid. Mm -hmm. Boom. Nice flight. Okay. But that's kind of, I'm aimed kind of left. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to play that day. Mm -hmm. The next day, I'm rotating a little harder, you know, more level. And that ball's a little more straight than I play that game today. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So given that, let's just say that this is your first shot of the day and you're just going to go ahead and smoke that thing. Okay. And you feel like you're, just, you're setting up and you're not really, you, you may know where you think, all right, let, let's say that uh, you're going to see that the two palm trees, the big fat ones out there. Yeah. Okay. Let's say, let's have you aim at that. What you think is aiming at that. All right. Normally I'd stand back here. Yeah, and no, I got a little spot and stuff, but you want me to try to do No, it no, dude, you, okay. you can do that. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Sure. Pick out a spot or a little nail on the, yep, exactly. on the deck or whatever. Line that line up to that. One iron literally off the deck. Yeah. And go for it, John? Yeah, just go ahead and give it a hit. All 
Okay, so it was over the top a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's uh, maybe 40, 50 feet left of yeah. the pines, but you're in play, you're in the fairway, if that was a, you know, yeah. Yeah. maybe on the green, you know? Okay, so now is that the shot that you wanna play? Did you like, you know, probably not, you're not, you're not yeah. happy with the shot. Yeah, okay, funky. right. And let me ask you this, how, how do you, uh, figure out your alignment based upon like your ball position. Do you have a protocol for that? Uh, yeah, I, I like basically put my feet together, spread my feet out and then get the, like most shots are at the low, my logo. Mm -hmm. And then wedges are a little back of that and iron mm -hmm. and uh, woods are a little forward of that. That's okay. All right. So, so let's, let's discuss that then. So you said, uh, go ahead and set up like you are. Mm -hmm. All right. And, and tell me where you're aiming. Yeah. Okay. At the t those two palm trees. Okay. You're at the two palm trees. Okay. And then you said you like to have it the, where? Uh, yeah. Well, like where the logo would be if it was like an alligator. Yeah. Or okay. Like so about right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if we come down, boom. Yeah. And let me get this right, right here. And we're going to come to the ball here. Okay. And then I'm going to go. And that looks really good. You're just okay. a little bit, a little bit left okay. of that, but not much. Okay. That's very doable. Okay. okay. So that's, that's good. Now, what I'm going to have you do is do something a little, go ahead and set up to this, yeah. just where you are. And I'm going to have you, I'm going to move the ball here and I'm going to have you set up here yeah. like this. Okay. Now I want you to take a swing mm -hmm. and I want you to feel like you're hitting on the inside of, of the ball. Yeah. Okay. And when you go through, I want you to feel like you're looping inside because your, your new low point now has been, has been rotated here. So if this is where we were, yeah, we're now here. So in other words, your, your entry where it was here mm -hmm. is now here. Okay, gotcha. Got that? Yep. So I want you to, you can take your regular backswing out, but when you come down, I want you to come in low. Okay. Okay. And then as you strike through the ball, you're going to feel that you can hold off that release. Okay. That might be a lot. With, to, this, li with this little loft, this far back in my stance, that, that seems like. No, I want you to loop it. I want you to loop it inside okay. so that then that ball relative to your body is now right because if, if my body's here then it's on the logo again right if my body's open yes it's yes okay, yeah gotcha. right hit it hard on the inside quadrant oh i like that yeah it wasn't bad i mean that's a dead that was a horrible range ball <laughs> it was a yeah, dead okay. that was a dead ball but i like the flight of that ball a little draw in it so there's my normal ball position mm -hmm. there. And then I'm going to go like that. Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I want you to feel like you're coming a little like here, uh -huh. dropping it down flat, uh -huh. coming in, hitting out of your right hip pocket, and then a hold off release like this. Okay. Gotcha. gotcha. Okay. Pick this up. Like that. Yep. And hit it hard. Yes. Oh, I like that. There's no chance of it hooking. No. And it's solid. Right? So that, just putting it back there, like I have to do stuff in order to accommodate that ball position. Well, it, that, this would not work. Well, because yeah. you have to flatten the shaft yeah, out. Would not right? Work. Yeah. So, so in other words, our ball position, if I, if, if my, the ball is here, mm -hmm. if I move the ball back, Right? I can still take my backswing yeah. on this line, but I'm going to come down. If I move my ball position back, it's forcing me to right. be in the right hip pocket. I've always been trying to get a, uh, you know, an impact like this at the bottom. So I always thought like, you know, the, the drill, they say like, well, put it at like, put um, seven iron and like three wood ball position, but hit it low, you know? as a way to do that. It's never really worked for me to hold shaft flex or whatever though. It was like kind of the idea I had to try to learn to get a better contact. Like, 
hit yeah. no shots from a forward ball position. But so then we you know when, when we once we add in the element of we can we can change our ball position and move it back, but it's not really changing our our orientation to our body because mm -hmm. now I want to I still want to take that bacon strip divot. So if I put the ball back, here's one here's a, a good example of one of the nice things about doing this. Uh, I'll, I'll, it's very common that I'll have students uh, come to me and say, I just don't turn the way I used to, or older player, I can't, just can't turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're setting it. I say, well, what if we put the ball over here? And they're like, I just can't turn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now, relative to where the old ball is, they can turn. Yeah, right. They would turn plenty. If they the would turn plenty. Yeah. I've worked with, you know, some of the pro, the pro players I've worked with and I'd say okay if we put a ball we put a ball here and we put a ball here I'll say set up here now go set up here okay so here's your setup there's your ball but we're going to address this ball now I want you to take it back and as you come down I want you to change your mind and hit the front ball can we try that yeah yeah that, that sounds fun because it's interesting because a lot of the stuff you say is take a shorter backswing and accelerate but here we're getting it's like a full turn, but it's not like overextended so that it's going to dump all the energy. Yeah. Okay. So set up here to that, to that ball. Okay. Yeah. Pick your spot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Okay. Set up here to this ball. Like yeah. Just regular. Just no, no, no. Regular. Oh, just, just yeah. regular where you normally would. Okay. That would feel really good. All right. And now if we were to take your hands and move a low point to like right here. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. A ball there. Okay. Now, yeah. okay, now let, I want this camera angle here, address the first ball, and now just just, w just take a, a, a backswing and show us your shoulder rotation, just your normal shoulder rotation. Okay, good. And now address the back ball. And now take that shoulder rotation, just normal shoulder rotation from there. <laughs> the shoulders, you can see how they've turned so much more. Yeah. Right? So for you to say well gee i can't turn like i used to or whatever well you can you just did if you were to then address this ball here mm -hmm. as if you're going to hit it out to the right and you go ahead i'm just going to remove the ball take it take that same backswing change your mind and then hit the forward ball changed my mind too late what, I think. what you're what you're going to notice on here yeah is that you made a much bigger shoulder rotation okay gotcha. okay mm -hmm. and then you can just work that out okay because you know I'm, I'm changing your low point in the middle of your swing it's awkward yeah. but what we're trying to do is focus on the body and getting your your body to get that bigger shoulder rotation going back yeah a lot of times when people say like to take a, a bigger backswing or more aggressive backswing the shoulders don't move that much but the arms will move a lot you know but yeah that, but this way the shoulder is really moving. Right, and then now look. Now you look back at the front ball position. You want to try it one more time? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's uh, have you address that that ball, and then we're gonna now okay, have you good. pretend that the ball's here. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, and that you're gonna hit. You can focus on that. That nail. Mm -hmm. That nail. Okay. That that's the ball that you're gonna hit. Mm -hmm. So that's your backswing, and then that's your downswing. Yeah. Okay. So down backswing on this ball. Downswing on that. Ball. Right. So come back, all right, backswing there, and then you're going to hit the front ball. Lateral move into the ball. Oh, man. That was going to be <laughs> oh, really good. Yeah, no, you I just got slow motion that would look really good. Yeah, yeah, let's try it again. It let's try it again. Loaded. That's okay. Let's try it again. And then, so you're going to address this ball here. Uh -huh. Okay, there's your backswing. So go yeah. back. There's the big backswing. Now you're going to make lateral transfer back to the ball after the backswing. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> that's got some heat on it yeah and then i'm going right now i think walking this, away from it a little bit this way yeah, yeah because so now when you um what we've just done here we've moved brandon's ball position from here okay Go so ahead. now he's turning he's got this huge shoulder turn but because the ball position is for let's get a ball here let me so if Brandon addresses the ball here and makes his back swing, it's here. Yeah. If we move the ball back to here and he makes the same back swing, the shoulder rotation is here. Much greater shoulder rotation. But how am I going to get to that front ball? I'm going to move laterally.
to start my downswing so that I can now hit that forward golf ball. And by moving laterally, I'm starting my downswing and I don't have to spend the rotation. It's mm -hmm. saved. I'm mm -hmm. saving it. I mean, nobody did this better than Ben Hogan. Yeah. I mean, when, you know, you, you see this and then you see this going on. Yeah. And then, so that's what we're doing here. So we're setting up here. You've got the, the ghost ball yeah. back here. You take, you swing at the ghost ball, but now you're going to move laterally to get up to this ball and then you're gonna hit a beautiful shot like yeah. what you just did. Lateral transfer, back to the ball after the backswing. Yeah, woo! Good one. <laughs> That's got some heat on it. Yeah, and then I'm going. Right? John, let's, let's talk a little bit, it's probably connected, but the first thing you noticed in my swing was I hit the ball and then I got like the club like this, uh -huh. you know? Yeah, yeah. How can we get it so that we, we're a little bit more this way well, here. One, one way is to. Thanks for watching everybody. The rest of this lesson is coming up next on Be Better Golf as soon as I can edit it together. Also coming up with John Erickson, a whole bunch of videos that we shot, including one where he talks about the intricacies and a real deep dive on how Ben Hogan swung the club. He said that Ben Hogan would do something different than John has always taught and uh, really gets into how Ben Hogan transitioned the club in such a way the motion of the body and also wrist angles that made him insanely repeatable and consistent. He says it's not easy and it's not obvious, but it's really, really, really a high level move that kind of explains why Ben Hogan was so accurate. A lot of things with John, including a lesson that we did with Mike Padilla right before he played in the Long Beach City Amateur and finished fifth. And he also finished fifth in the qualifier for the U.S. Open. Lots of really interesting stuff coming up in Be Better Golf, but you got to be subscribed to see it. If you're not subscribed, you won't see the notification, and you also won't see it when we go live. So hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. That that club face is still looking at the target. Okay, I'll do that one more time from that angle. You'll be able to see it a little bit better here. Okay, so I come in here. I'm wide open with a club face, I'm open, and I'm gonna be, okay? Look where that club face, right? Where that club face is at? Okay, so Michael's right, very rolled over, so his arm is straightening. He's using his right arm to, to close the club face. 